Well, hello, welcome to Izzy Siro. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Libra love prediction reading for August 7th through August 13th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a, a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal lovable kind friendly sweet fun libras show me spirit guys what's going on with my libras let's see show me what's going on with my libra spirit guys let's see show me uh oh the empress the tower uh-oh. The Page of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Justice card. This is you showing up in your own reading. Showing up in your own reading. Well, I'm going to tell you what I see here. I'm going to tell you what I see. First of all, you have the Empress card, which is all about pregnancy. It's about um, being pregnant, um, someone that has a child. Um, someone You prayed for this child, too. She put her hands across. I mean, this, is some, this is a child that you really wanted. You have, you're having, or you've had difficulty having a child. I, I just see you've had difficulties. You've had miscarriages, I think. Um, and I, I'm, first of all, I'm very sorry for that. But the Empress card here lets me know this is a pregnancy. This, is, this was a pregnancy, but it, it terminated. And when I say it terminated, you had another miscarriage. Because I see the Tower card here, which is a sudden ending. It's a sudden ending. It's it's a um, it's a it's a sudden ending. It's just a sudden ending. Um, but here you have the Page of Cups that's in the middle of your reading, and the Page of Cups is all about a new beginning in love again. It's about a new beginning in love. And what I see here with the Page of Cups is that whomever you're with, they could be younger than you, but. They're letting you know that you can always, that you guys can keep going. You can start again. It can be another pregnancy. You can start over again. Because the Page of Cups is here. The Page of Cups is a good person. But the Page of Cups is also um, someone that may be a little immature somewhat. I'm just being honest. They may be younger than you. Um, they might may not do exactly how you want them to act. They may, um, they may be just kind of in an um, awkward position because... They really don't know, but you have lost a pregnancy. And they really don't know what to do. They really don't. I think they're just kind of trying to be with you, console you, help you, and reassure you. Because, see, the Page of Cups always has that cup of love that you guys can get together and you can do it again. And, and here, this is an unexpected pregnancy. Um, I think in the past, you were with someone else and has had pregnancy. But with this person, this was unexpected. This was an unexpected pregnancy and you really thought this one was the one. But let me say this to you. I see the Knight of Pentacles or the Knight of Coins here. And that Knight of Coins is all about determination. Determined. You are determined to have a child. You have asked the universe and so has your Page of Cups. Whoever this person is in the middle of your reading, this person also um, is, going, is, is determined to have a child with you as well. You guys both are determined. You're both manifesting a child. It's going to be a child here. It is just going to take time. You have to be determined, which I see there is a goal. In mind. With the Knight of Pentacles, he has a goal. That Knight of Pentacles energy is that I have a goal and I'm going to reach my goal. And I do believe that you are going to have a child with this Page of Cups energy person. Um, I do also, and the Page of Cups also is about fun. It's about fun. Um, and I think that this person was fun for you. I, like I said, I think this was an unexpected pregnancy. I think that you have lost a child in the past, though. That your body has not been able to sustain a pregnancy, but I do see you eventually having a child. I see you having a child eventually. Um, I see the justice card this here, too, and that means balance. 
that means balance also the justice card can mean marriage as well but the justice card means that things are balanced you're balanced now you're, you're getting it back together because you are going to conceive and carry a child a full term i see that with this reading now give me three to five minutes and let me do let me say to you again i'm very sorry that you have lost this child but i do see you conceiving eventually um, and carrying the baby to full term. If this is your read, please sit back, relax, and let me clarify the reading for you. Let me clarify the reading for you just to see what the spirit guides, if they're going to give me an additional information. Show me, spirit guides, why is the empress here? Show me why the empress is here. Show me, spirit guides, why is the empress here? Oh, temperance. Temperance card. The temperance card is all about harmony. It's all about harmony. It's all about peace. It's all about uh, wanting to, because the Temperance card is always mixing. They said this is an angel mixing water to wine. Um, you just want to be hard. You you want to be. You want to have harmony in your life. You want a child. You just want a child. That's all. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. And you want someone to be with you, which this person is going to be with you. There, you guys are determined. Um, but the Temperance card can also represent a Sagittarius sun sign. It can also represent a Sagittarius sun sign. But you want to be with child and you want to be able to sustain a pregnancy. Um, so let's see why the tower card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the tower card here for my Libra? Show me why the tower card is here for my Libras. Oh, I have the page of swords. I have the page of swords. First of all, this pregnancy was ended, but, um, the communication is still open between you and your significant other, the baby's father. You guys are still communicating. Um, there's a lot of communication over this. And ma matter of fact, you're able to talk to him. This was, like I said, it was a, it, it, it terminated and you had a miscarriage. But with this page of swords there, this is something that's different than what you've had in the past. Because this person, this page of cups person, this younger person than you, not that much long, younger, could be three years. Um, but I mean, but they still are younger than you. Um, and with this page of swords here, you're able to talk to them how you feel, you know, what, what you, how you really want a child. They don't kick, they, they are there for you. That's all I have to say. They're there for you. This page of cups, you see, he's offering his love to you, his cup of love. Like I said, this was an unexpected pregnancy. He didn't have to be there. He could have easily left you, but he's stuck in there with you and he's there with you. And you still are having conversations about what you want, what you both want what you both want because this was unexpected but he wants a child as well so let's see what this page of cups is here show me spirit guides why is the page of cups here show me spirit guides oh i see a queen of cups queen of cups well libra you have been very much a queen of cups queen of cups is um Someone is very kind, very generous, very giving, very loving. Um, when it comes to this person, you they realize what you bring to them. They realize that they want to be with you. They realize you have been there for this person. He's younger. And you have helped him maybe uh, along the way. Um, I don't know. You've, uh, you've cooked for that. I definitely see that you've, you've helped him. You've helped mature him. Um, you've also been very kind and generous to him. Um, and he's giving that back. This is He's giving that back. He's there for you. He is giving that kindness and that generosity back to you. He is definitely, you have a good heart and he has a good heart too. So let's see why this Knight of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Show me. Oh, I see the Five of Wands. And you know, I don't think this Five, this five of Wands is conflict. But it's conflict because there's determination that's here for one thing. But it's conflict because it's almost like I see you saying that you he doesn't have to say this because you want a child. Because like I said, this was this was a a pregnancy that wasn't uh you, it was unexpected. So you're letting him know you're determined to have a child. But what he's you you having conflict now because somehow you don't believe that he's there for you just even without the child because he's you believe he only stayed with you because you were pregnant but that's not true so it's almost like you're trying to push him away but he's not going anywhere he's determined to have a child with you as well he's in love with you as well. he is in love with you and that knight of pentacles is there and that knight of pentacles is all about determination he's determined to be with you 
He's determined to have a child with you. You may try to push him away. You may try to cause arguments. Does not matter. He is not going anywhere. He wants a child with you. So let's see why this justice card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is this justice card here? Show me spirit guides. Oh, I see the five of pentacles. This is just you. You're just going through a little bit of feeling unworthy. Feeling unworthy. Feeling like you're not good enough because you're not able to um, conceive and hold the child to uh, a full-term pregnancy. You know, this that's not true. That is simply not true. Sometimes it just takes a little longer. And I strongly, with this justice card here, I think things are going to balance out and you're going to be able to have a child. You're going to be able to have a child. I think things will balance out. Um, I understand how you feel like you're not worthy. And, you know, any woman that wants a child, that's what we're here to do, to have that's one of the things, obviously, but that is a big part of a woman's life. If she wants a child to be able to conceive and have children, you want to be able to conceive and have children. So let's start at the very beginning with this. Um, I have the Empress card here. You were, you were with child, but you lost your child. This is not the first time you have lost a child either. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm not quite sure if you lost a child before or if you decided, you know what I'm saying, to remove the child. And this time you really wanted this child because it was an unexpected pregnancy, but it didn't come to full term because um, it, 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 um, it, you had a miscarriage. Page of Swords is here though because you're having conversation with the father. You are. Page of Swords is communication. This person is there for you. This person wants to be with you with or with child. That is one of your, your problems that you're thinking that they don't want to be with you, but they do. Here's a temperance card that's here too. And you just, the temperance card is all about harmony, peace. Um, and that's what you want. You want everything to come together. This temperance card, you want to mix. It's about, they said it's a, it can represent a Sagittarius uh, sun sign as well. But you just want peace and you want to have a child. You want to move forward. And that's what you want ultimately, the harmony in a relationship with a child. Page of Cups, he's here. He's a little bit immature. He is because he didn't, he kind of, he was ready. But, you know, when you lost a child, he, he didn't know what to say. But, you know, the good thing is, is the communication is still open. You're able to talk to him. And you also have fun with this guy. You need him. You are queen of cups to him. He understands that. He's not going anywhere. He's going to be right there with you. He will not leave you. You have been the queen of cups. It's, you have been kind and good to him. You have helped him along the way. And this was an unexpected pregnancy, but he's still here. Here's a knight of pentacles here. That means that you are determined to have a child. And you're trying to push him away with these conflicts. He's not going anywhere. He doesn't want to be with you just because you were pregnant. He wanted to be with you because he's in love with you. Now he wants you guys both are on the same page. That's what you want with temperance, to have a child. Here's a justice card here, which can in the long term mean marriage. But it's balancing out things. And I do believe you're going to have a child. You are worthy. You're feeling a little down, and but you are going to have a child. You are. Let's see what my oracles have to say. Show me oracles. Show me. Well, this is interesting. Recovery. I told you, you're going to have a child. And they also say success. And you're going to have a child with this person here, this younger person. And you guys are going to be um, together and have a family and loving on each other. And that's what I see for you for your love prediction reading, Libra.